So I get to Barnes & Noble and get my Starbucks. I'm super excited to look at books, but this is the area that it started. I was in this corner for a while and I noticed the guy was staring at me through that little hole and I couldn't tell if I was being paranoid or if he was just reading a book and he just happened to be in that little corner. Anyways, it felt like anywhere I moved, he kept following me. So I recorded in the area saying they had had similar experiences with that same guy and that made her take it a bit more seriously so she filed a police report and that's what he's doing to a lot of women and according to tiktok we've had it happen at urban outfit owners and and oh and, you know, he had all the spots he better not go to target how did it make you feel uh very violated and i was really scared i had to even though he left i stayed in the bookstore for a little bit because i was scared that i would run into him when i left And I'm leaving you wide open. This video is kind of self-explanatory. Um, so basically, I guess this dude lived with his girlfriend and something transpired. And before leaving, he destroyed her house. Um, that's feminine behavior. But at the same time, the fact that you live with your girl kind of... You opened yourself up for the level of disrespect that whatever it is she did to you, you opened yourself up for that, bro. Because now you look, you look stupid. You look stupid. You homeless, and you look stupid. <laughs> he felt the same way. He felt. I'm married, dog. I'm married, dog. You married, dog, and you on camera. Don't say nothing out the way. Don't say nothing out the way. You married, and you on camera. Don't say nothing out the way. You married, and you... This motherfucker ain't lighting. You trying to get me in trouble. Son. I love black women. I love black women. Okay? But I'm going to be real with you. I think Hispanic women are some of the... I'm going to go ahead and stop because I'm finna walk down a road that I might not be able to come back from. You know what I'm saying? But but at the same time, y'all know what I'm finna say because me and my wife have had a conversation about this before. And you know what I'm saying? We, we, we a little freaky. And, and we was planning, we, you know, we was making uh, plans to, to invite somebody else in the bedroom. And, and she was going to be, um, if she wasn't going to be black, she was going to be Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. You feel me? I just shared some information which y'all actually kept to myself. But, you know, just because of that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, man. Alright, I'm going to holler at y'all.